My biggest money savings tip is good morning, modern setters. This morning we're doing a video collaboration with a lot of other homesteading channels. I'm gonna leave a link down below to all their channels and their videos. The video series is how we save money on our homesteads. Our tips are not quick saving money tips. Our tips are more long term thinking and how to invest in your homestead to save money in the long term. That's what we're doing right now at Lumna Acres. The big one we're working on is we have a three day pig harvesting class going on. We know how to grow our own pigs and then we'll be investing and learning how to harvest our own pigs here at the homestead. We'll be learning how to make bacon, ham, pepperonis, charcuteries, meat sticks, smoking. Think of all the money you can save over the years of investing a little bit of money up front to learn these skills and how much money you'll be saving in the long run. If you wanna see videos in the upcoming class, now's a great time to subscribe to the channel if you already haven't, and hit the little bell button, and that'll turn on notifications and let you know every time we upload videos and go live. Let's talk about some ways we save money right off the bat. We're a huge DIY channel. We're building our modern homestead here at Lumna Acres, and we've built so much just this summer. And it's been awesome. One of the first big projects that we've built lately is this $30 chicken coop you can build in 30 minutes. That's right, you can build this chicken coop for 30 bucks. I'll put a link to the video here and I'll put a link to the blog post that shows where you can buy all the products you need to build the chicken coop for $30. We have a six foot by six foot chicken coop here that we can raise 24 meat birds. So raising our own pasture raised, organic fed, healthiest meat we can raise for our family is a huge money savings for us. If we were to go to the farmer's market or to a store to buy a pasture raised chicken, we'd be spending over $20 a bird. We can raise 25 meat birds in that $30 chicken tractor. That's $500 worth of chicken we can raise. That's a huge money savings. Over the life of the chicken coop, you can save thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands of dollars. That chicken coop's gonna last a long time. It's made out of pressure treated lumber. We're raising our own pasture raised pigs. The amount of money we're saving by raising our own pigs is huge. If we went to the store to buy pasture raised pork or the farmer's market, it's very expensive. So by raising our own, we're saving big bucks. And now we're investing in our future by having Han Hewn Farm come out here and teaching us some great skills that have been lost. We'll be able to preserve our own meat for years and years to come. That's gonna be a huge money saver in the long haul. We built ourselves an outdoor kitchen. There's a few ways this is gonna save us money. But while we were building it, we used recycled materials as much as we could and we did it all ourselves. All the glass or glass doors that were going to get thrown away. We got an old antique wood cook stove in here for heating. We were able to upcycle a stainless steel mop sink. We had to purchase some stainless steel tables but they are very inexpensive and they're going to last a lifetime. And the amount of food we're going to be able to produce and harvest and can and put up out in this kitchen is going to be a huge money saver. We saved some trusses from the dump, believe it or not, they were going to the landfill to get thrown away. I'll put a link to the playlist right here for our off-grid outdoor kitchen build. I told you the little bit amount of money we have into our off-grid outdoor kitchen, you wouldn't believe me so I'm not going to tell you. We have a concrete slab, we poured the concrete slab ourselves, we had to fill this all in. We filled it all in with gravel, raised it up, and got a nice location. We've invested a lot of our time and energy this season into the outdoor kitchen and getting ready for our pig harvesting class. Now this is gonna sound kind of like a strange money saving tip, but a piece of equipment like a tractor or something, if you can afford one, it is an investment in your future. Now when I say afford one, I'm not saying going to get payments for it. If you can afford one, if you can buy one used, if you can rent one, whatever you need. We've had our tractor here for five or six years now, and it's paid for itself over and over again. All the work we've done with it here and at our other location, it's paid for itself. We've put in a driveway here, we've repaired the road. We filled this spot right here with three dump truck loads, believe it or not. We've built gardens with it. We've, we've done so much with it 
that if you can look at a lot of things as investments into your future and you can afford them, then they're a great money saving. So that gets me back on the point of tools. Tools are an investment, like a tractor is a tool, but they'll save you money in the long run and learn how to use them and learn the skills you need for using them and working with them. We built the house at our homestead here and that was a huge money saver for us. Having the skills that we learned over years and years and having the tools. We didn't just go out and buy the tools overnight. The other houses we've lived in, every time we needed to do a project, I'd buy a tool, put it away. When we went to build our house, we had all the tools we needed and the knowledge. And the knowledge that we didn't have, we were able to pick up and learn. When you're building your homestead, it's not an overnight thing. It's stuff that takes time. Let's go inside the house now and I'll show you some more money saving tips. We make our own fermenting tops for fermenting foods with airlocks and some grommets. This way we don't have to go out and buy the expensive fermentating kits. It's a huge money saver right there. If you want to learn more about making those, I'll put a link right here and in the description down below on a video we did with those. When we need doors for our house, we learn how to make them. That's a huge money saving tip. So this is some rough sawn lumber that we got. We planed it down a little bit, kept the rough sawn look to it, but kept it smooth so we can clean it also. Bought an inexpensive sliding track on Amazon. Now we have a nice rustic looking door that we have very little money invested into. Another great money savings tip is when you look at items, learn to value add and learn to look at them in, in different lights and see other ways you can use them instead of their original attended purpose. Let me explain a little bit. Right here is concrete. People are like, that's for making floors and burying posts in the ground. That's a countertop. That countertop cost $150 worth of concrete. You could done it. If that was granite, you'd be spending thousands of dollars. The island itself, we also made. We found some corbels on sale, half off. So those were the inspiration for the island. And we had the wood, we already had it, believe it or not, all this wood is leftover flooring that we had. We just milled it down and made it look different, painted it and antiqued it and gave it a nice rustic look. When we were all said and done with the kitchen island, it's six feet by six feet, we had $300 invested in it, including the countertop. If you're building your own homestead, keep an eye out for building material auctions. We bought a lot of materials to build our house at one of those and we saved a ton of money. My biggest money savings tip is invest in yourself and the skills you're gonna need in your homestead, whether you already have your homestead or even more if you plan on moving to a homestead. Invest the time and the money now to learn the skills that you're gonna need to live the lifestyle you want they'll pay for themselves in the long run, over and over and over again. Those are some of the ways we save money here at Lumna Acres. There'll be links in the description down below for all the other videos on how to save money on your homestead. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps the channel grow. If you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to do that. If you wanna dig deeper into Lumna Acres, into what we do around here, I'm gonna leave a link right here and in the description down below. You can go check out our website and just learn a little more. And we'll see you right back here at 6 a.m. tomorrow when we upload tomorrow's daily video. Bye.